Isaiah 58, 6 and 7. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke. To set the oppressed free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. The first time I was ever exposed to commercial sexual exploitation was on a little ticker line on a CNN headline uh, and it made reference to 12 minors being rescued from a brothel. And I saw it and I thought, this, this exists and people know and they aren't doing anything. And, it, and it, I, I couldn't believe that. It seemed so difficult for me to understand why that would be happening with people's knowledge and everybody wasn't engaging to try and help bring it to an end. When we went to South Asia and we were establishing a new partnership with the campuses there, as I first stepped in to the red light area, into some of the brothels, there was basically woman after woman after woman standing. And right behind her was a simple pool curtain with a mattress. And as I looked into the faces of these women, they were, they were alive, but they were hollow and dead. And I began to weep thinking that there are these women who are enslaved and in desperate need and they're dying. And I just thought, Lord, if this is where you want us to be, we're here. I'm coming back, we're here. We're gonna do whatever it takes to see this end within our lifetime. It's the heart of Christ to significantly step into the need of these women in these brothels in South Asia to seek their rescue. The Aruna 5K is an effort to mobilize as many people as we can to bring freedom to the enslaved in South Asia. When I initially thought about trying to step in to, to demonstrate the gospel, I thought, am I allowed to do that? As an MTO, am I allowed to head us in that direction? And so sought to have some conversations with some of our national leaders as well as regional leaders. and. They said, absolutely, you've got the green light, go after it. As an MTL, I felt the absolute freedom to go after this thing as hard as we possibly can. Dr. Bright talks about reach the college campus today, change the world tomorrow. And we began to think through how do we mobilize this, this college student, this army to truly affect change in the world. And so we thought a run, a run would be great. The idea for the Aruna 5K basically spawned out of this desperate need to do something. We talk often about what it looks like to demonstrate the gospel, the idea that Jesus demonstrates his love through his actions and brings understanding through his words and how the two of those things are distinguishable for sure, but they're inseparable. We need to show the gospel but we also need to, we need to be saying, we need to be telling the gospel. And as our students have grabbed a hold of that idea, it's, it's been really unique the way that we've seen non-believers actually engage with us on very personal levels as well as just larger scale level. I was working on my resume one night and one of my coworkers saw that I was working on it and was looking through some of my activities and it included um, a leader with crew and also a mission trip to Southeast Asia and so he had this assumption that the group I was in um, was this negative or pushy group. I was just able to you know talk with him realistically and honestly and um, share my faith in a way that was different than he'd heard before. Just talking through my opportunities with crew and my involvement in Aruna was really eye-opening for him to see what it means to be a Christian, what it means to be a follower of Christ. When I think about next year's race, I want it to be bigger. I want there to be more students involved. I want there to be more funds raised. I want there to be more awareness grown so that it will have more of an impact on our campus and it will have more of an impact for those women who are still laboring in the sex trafficking industry. And the reason that we're gathered here right now in the cold rain is to run for her freedom. To give her a voice, to give her a hope, to bring freedom to the enslaved. 
If Cincy Metro Crew didn't partner with the Aruna Project, we would certainly lose, I think, uh, a depth of understanding of who Jesus is, a depth of understanding of Jesus' love for others as well as for each of us, uh, a depth of understanding of not just Jesus saying how much He loves us, but actually demonstrating how much He loves us by the actions that He actually does that obviously are most expressly seen on the cross. My involvement with the Aruna Project has really changed my relationship with the Lord and just having to look at a lot of you know sin and darkness in my own life and knowing that there is redemption in that and I think seeing the contrast of the poverty and the desperation and you know the darkness that is happening in Asia but also seeing these amazing stories of women fighting back and not losing hope and really trusting in God after something so horrendous and terrible is just The fact that they can even trust and hope in God after what they've been through <laughs> just gives me no doubt that He exists and the power of His love and His redeeming mercy and grace is, is just something that I have never experienced before. Incredible story of a woman named Usha who was sold into the brothel. Her, her pimp impregnated her. Uh, she carried the baby to full term and gave birth to a son. She had to remain in the brothel, remain as a, as a worker, and was repeatedly abused day after day, multiple customers, one after the next, while her son grew and grew up in that brothel area, grew up in the very same room where she would have to uh, serve customers. Throughout that process, her son, basically as he grew up to be a little boy, was sent out as a runner to try and find customers for his mother. And ultimately, Usha and her son were in a very difficult situation, a very harsh pimp, and they met up with the Aruna Project staff. The Aruna Project staff were able to get Usha out, were able to get her son out, and the two of them as well put their faith and trust in Jesus. And the two of them now also labor fiercely to go back into the brothels and to rescue more out and to continue the fight against human trafficking. Jesus, thank you for the way that you love us and the way that you've shown that, the way that you've lived that, and the way that you still do. And Jesus, I pray and ask that you would do the same for these women. Let them know, God, that you're with them and that they are loved and cherished and that there is a hope for them. Lord, would you loose their bonds? Would you rescue them out? But that you would let them know that they are valuable and they are worth something in your eyes. God, would you bring the hope and the truth and the beauty of your gospel to set these women free? We love you, Jesus. We pray in your name. Amen.